When it comes to vocabulary, one of the easiest ways to get a lower score is to use some of these types of words like good or bad or stuff. So let's take a look at not only some words to avoid, but also some strategies that you can use to help improve your vocabulary score. Let's take a look at our screen share. So one of the issues that I see with students writing is that there's just not enough of a push to use vocabulary that's a little bit more advanced, that includes more collocations, idioms, phrasal verbs. You know, if your goal is to get a seven or above, you really need to be incorporating those into your essay writing. Saying words, for instance, like good, bad, stuff, thing, everything, everybody, anybody. These words are just too general. And a lot of times, the moment your examiner sees them in your writing, they're automatically thinking, okay, this person will probably score a band six or lower. Um, it can really hurt your score very quickly. And if you don't make up for it and use more advanced terms later, you again, you're really guaranteed to get around a band six. So these are just some words quickly that I would suggest that you try to avoid where writing. So for instance, if you're trying to replace words like thing or stuff, you know, you could say item, like object, um, depending on the situation, you could say things like case. These are all just some general other pronouns. If you're trying to replace people, you know, you could say things like individual or a person. Again, trying to avoid using words like thing and, and stuff. If you're trying to look for alternatives for good or bad, what I would do is I would try to ask myself, you know, what am I actually saying? Why is something good? You know, if you're talking about price, well, maybe because it's something is good because it's cheaper. Maybe it's better quality. Maybe you're trying to emphasize that, you know, if a movie is good, think about like, yeah, if you're describing a movie, what, what does it mean if a movie is good? Well, it's maybe it's like the... Actors are talented, so you can say like talented actors. You can say an interesting plot. You know, we could go on and on. It really depends a lot on the scenario, but find another description for like good or bad. Really ask yourself, what are you actually trying to say? What makes it good? What makes it bad? What makes it interesting? And then really trying to describe that. Try to pull some more specific words. I want to take a look at some other situations too related to vocabulary. Um, another opportunity you have is to really try to use as specific terminology as possible. Let's take a quick look at this example here. 